September 27th, 1974. Honorable Leo T. Nimsik, Ministry of Mines and Petroleum Resources, Parliament Buildings, Victoria, B.C. Honorable Sir, as a former resident and active Forest Survey Officer in British Columbia, I came to know many areas of your province very well. During forest survey work, I became interested in minerals and for several years carried a prospector's license. My work in Ottawa has continued to evolve me in survey work to all provinces, but it was not until this, this summer that I was able to take time to investigate properly certain locations in which I have previously been interested. To be brief, I have come up with some extremely startling results, which has shaken me thoroughly. There is one problem. The particular spot of extreme interest is within one of the confines of your provincial parks, and prospecting, rule of samples, and mine development is therefore against the law. I do not wish in any way to flaunt the laws of the province, so I am writing to you. My request is that I have been able to bring out loose surface samples to you and then have the situation discussed with, with your cabinet. For emphasis, I would estimate that there is over $20 billion involved, much of it loose on the surface. Appearances indicate much more, even into hundreds of billions, and this could make the Klondike and Caribou appear like peanuts. Please, above all else, keep this confidential for several reasons. If news broke, hordes of people will be in there, and you will lose control. However, I could have removed $100,000, especially in one trip, 50 pounds equals 800 ounces pure, with little risk of being caught. If I could, so could others, and few would honor the law as outlined, see underlined above. Please communicate with me only through my home address. My office mail is pre-opened by staff before reaching my desk, and I would prefer the whole situation remain confidential between us until I can produce samples to prove my find. Things can, in this way, then proceed in a legal manner. Regardless of the above, the news will make headlines when it breaks, and it, and it will. When the news media gets it, things will go wild. I am only human, and the fame of such an event is too much to pass up. Can you get me a permit to bring out loose samples? If so, will you? Sincerely, G. Stuart Brown.